Good morning and welcome to Grain TV. It's October 5th, 2012. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right is Brock Shimano. Brock, a mixed trade here in Chicago. Let's jump into fire tips, see what's going on. As you can see here, we have corn and wheat both trading lower, down about four to five cents. Soybeans, the only grain really picking up any ground right now, up about 12 here in the early going. We had a lot of fundamental news in the grains come out this morning. We'll hit on that in just a moment. Another big thing driving the trade though this morning was macro data. What are we looking at there? Yeah, the ma macro environment really was uh, looking for the unemployment figures to come out this morning. We did get those numbers. Came in un unexpectedly low at 7.8%, the lowest level we've had in 44 months. Industry is kind of looking for 8.1 to 8.2% on the unemployment, so coming in at 7.8 was a little bit of a shock to the macro markets. Right. You know, a couple reasons for this. We had revisions to June and July's uh, job creation rate, and we also had uh, higher than expected creation over the last period. Right. So, uh, you know, this is a little bit supportive for the outside markets. We do see the Dow Jones and several of those markets also up this morning. I think right. that's really spilling over into uh, soybean market particularly. Right. You know, if we look at this, this 8% unemployment rate has been kind of a psychological barrier here. We tested it in February of this year. Weren't able to get below that, so it was a good surprise. As it relates to the grain, though, lower unemployment implies that there's going to be higher demand here moving forward. Demand is going to increase the prices of all commodities, corn, soybeans, and wheat included here. So that's why we wanted to hit on it here this morning. That is supportive for the, for the demand scenario. Turning back to the supply side of the equation, though, we did get some good data out here this morning. As you can see in this chart, uh, the left column here is what the USDA had projected for production in their September 12th WASDE report. FC Stone numbers there came out earlier in the week, and then Landworth and Informa just came out here this morning. The one thing to really note is that uh, generally private analysts are expecting this soybean crop to be larger than the 2.63 billion bushels that the USDA had projected in their September 12th report. I think that's really been reflected or, and reflected in the sell-off here in the soybean complex that we've seen over the last several weeks. If we compare that to corn, kind of the deviation of private analysts from the USDA expectations, you can see here that there's not real agreement that this crop is going to be uh, much larger than what the USDA has projected. FC Stone roughly in line. Landworth actually lower. Informa just this morning about 4.5. 4.6% higher there, but certainly more of a mixed bag. The general consensus is that the soybean crop is going to be larger than 2.63 billion bushels. That's been confirmed by uh, evidence coming out of the field here during harvest. You know, we are seeing evidence of uh, you know a little bit higher than expected yields. Right. That's something we're going to have to pay attention to as we move into that crop production and supply and demand report next Thursday morning. But you know, turning our attention this weekend and crop progress coming out on Monday, what does the harvest weather look like? Well, it's looking pretty cold across much of the right. west. I don't think it's going to have a major effect on any of the crops. As you can see here, corn is 94% mature and soybeans are 85% done with their leaf dropping stage. So it really all it's going to do is just make it a little bit chillier for those farmers out in the fields. An area that uh, did get some snow was the upper Midwest, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota. They might be delayed a little bit because they did get up to four inches in some of those areas. Uh, over the last uh, couple days or so. Right, you know, Brock, should we have some cold weather? I was talking to a producer from North Dakota here just this morning. He said the yields on the soybean crop are looking very good, and a lot of guys are well underway with harvest here. So not a lot of yield getting taken off this crop here. Shouldn't slow things down too much from this exceptionally fast pace. We'll keep you posted on that, though, on Grain TV. This afternoon, we will be getting out the Commitment of Traders report. We'll be tweeting about that when it drops at Grain TV, where you can find us. I think that wraps up our show here for Friday. Brock, thanks a lot for joining us. Everyone out there, have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.